But uh, Jerry's man, Jerry's, Jerry's been been good for us all year, man. Uh, he's been at third all his, his whole minor league career managing, and he know us. We all came through the ranks with him, and we love him. We wouldn't want to have another guy there other than Jersh. So um, Jersh's been doing a great job, and if he ever runs into trouble, he talk to us. He come out every day, talk to us, and we would give him our feedback, stuff like that. Just like the play from last year, I told Jersh, when you talk about it, you know, let it go when you go into the offseason. You know, tell him what you're going to tell him, and when you go into the offseason, let it go. Come back to spring, turn the page. You know, don't don't let that hang over your head because. You know, it's easy for us to sit here and let Game 7 hang over our head and then we don't get our job done this year. But uh, we use that as motivation to get back here and give, us, give ourselves another shot you guys, to you win guys, this thing. You guys knew it was the right call, but... Yeah, it was the right call. It was the right call, It's frustrating to see him like, get second guess like, by the it, nation. I mean, maybe, maybe if I was running, he probably would have thought about it. Yeah, it just, I, I said, thought about it. Right. So, <laughs> it wouldn't have been a guaranteed sweet uh, seeing whether it was me or Lorenzo Kane right there in that, in that position. But uh, even though, you know, like, he did a great job stopping him right there. You got Salvador Perez coming up, facing Baumgartner, took Baumgartner deep, hit a home run for him in game one, I want to say. So, if he hit a home run right there, what are we doing? We celebrating, right? So, uh, I mean, we gave ourselves a shot. It was a lefty on righty matchup, so we'll take it. Guys, after after game seven, I mean, you guys had come so far to just get there, but I get the sense you guys were really upset in the days afterward. I don't know if you were moping or you were unhappy, but what was it like for you in the few days afterwards? I stayed in my bed. I couldn't move. Really? You really like I that? couldn't move. Like, I really couldn't move if I wanted to. Uh, it was it was heartbreaking, you know. Uh, it was a tough pill to swallow, I tell you that. To know you uh, lost Game Seven of the World Series at home, uh, real heartbreaking. And I think I sat in the dugout for for a while after they, you know, after they made the last out. I mean, got the last out. I was just sitting there looking at them celebrate on our field, thinking to myself, that's supposed to be us. I went up to my locker, I remember after the game, and just, just throwing stuff in the bag, mad, slamming doors and stuff like that. I mean, it's just it's a tough pill to swallow because you work so hard to get here. You almost feel like, why did you come if you're going to lose? You know, that's the kind of stuff you ask yourself, but nobody come come here to lose. Uh, it's just like the Mets. They know what they're facing. They know we're a great bunch. We know they're a great bunch. Otherwise, we wouldn't both be here. So. Uh, it's going to be a great World Series, no matter how it go down, uh, it's going to be a dog fight.